you are a Sydney band. You actually started out as a solo project. Uh, yes. We're originally from Byron Bay, actually. I was writing some songs in my bedroom during high school, and I was friends with the guys um, through music, uh, music class in high school. And I wanted to, like, make the band an actual live band instead of me just being in the bedroom, like, <laughs> writing songs and just playing them to myself. And so I, I recruited the other guys, and the rest is history. And you've got a new single out called Halcyon. Mm-hmm which I looked up the definition to. It relates to better times. Yeah. Is that what you wrote that about? Yeah, the whole album is basically about that. The whole album is about... It was written conceptually about when I was 17, 18. Basically before I graduated high school and life was a lot more easier than it is now, basically. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And cause, can I ask, you do have a video for that up on YouTube, and, but that was filmed in Melbourne, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was. It was filmed at, in St Kilda. Yeah. Um, we were playing a show with the Kooks that night, and our drummer Dan, he skates a lot, so we decided to do a skating film. It's very fitting, actually. But So, what, you were just in Melbourne and you decided to do it, or do you do a lot of your film clips down in Melbourne? We've done a few across Australia. We did a couple in Sydney, and I think we did one in Byron Bay. But, yeah, basically it was a kind of like... Uh, spontaneous kind of thing we're all down there playing a show so we decided to make a film clip yeah a pretty classy film clip for something spontaneous oh thank you thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> obviously not filmed on a friend's phone oh no it wasn't no we had a, a proper camera and everything it was I mean, we had a proper director as well so we kind of it, it wasn't it was spontaneous in the fact that we decided to do it but we we had a friend who um who filmed it for us on a proper camera and everything so the yeah. guy skateboarding is that one of the guys in the band yeah, that's our drummer, Dan. Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, well, that's good. He's pretty good at it, and it is—it's a very sort of laid-back feel of the song as well as the film clip to go with it. Yeah, I, th- I think it works really well, actually. Yeah. Song. Yeah, I agree. It does. And you have the debut album Halcyon Days, which is actually due out on the fifth of July. Yeah. Halcyon, the sound and that—is that what we can expect on the album? Yeah, definitely. I think that's probably the one song out of all our singles that we've released that really showcases the whole album sound. Yeah, definitely. And do you write the lyrics? Yeah, I, I write most of the lyrics and the music. A couple of the songs in the album, me and our bass player, Cameron, we co-wrote a couple of songs. But yeah, mostly it's just me writing the music for the band. So you've got a full band there, but it's still your project in a lot of ways. I think originally it was, but we've become more of a band. I mean... The, the music that we're writing for our second album at the moment, that's a lot more collaborative and it's including everyone and everyone's having a say and everyone's writing bits for the, bits and pieces for the music. So, yeah, it's more, more of a band effort, the second album that we're going to write. So you've been doing this since around 2008. Is that when you were around 17? Uh, yep, yep. So you're still very young and you've still got a long way to go. Yeah, we're still really young. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's good being young and, and still, still being able to do this, yeah. You worked on your debut album with what's the, uh, um, Jean-Paul Fung. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Is he working on your second album with you? We haven't decided yet because a lot of the songs, well, all of the songs on the debut record, Housing Days, they're all really old songs that I wrote when I was 17. So it's just really good to write some fresh new songs now. And so we haven't really thought of a new producer yet, but we'll keep him in mind because we loved working with him for the first record. So yeah, he's definitely saying song we want to work with in the future as well. Well, your album's being released on the 5th of July, but your tour doesn't start until the 8th of August. Yeah. Is there a reason you decided to wait a month after the release to tour? Um, I think more so just so people can listen to the record and get a good grasp of it and really listen to it and understand it before they actually come see the shows, I think. Like, just so people can listen to it and form their own ideas about the record and before, and I, don't know, I guess get to know the lyrics and all that kind of stuff before they actually come see after the play a show. Well, you, you like it yeah. better when the audience is singing along. Definitely, yeah, definitely. It makes it more fun for us. <laughs> <laughs> and you're actually starting your tour in Adelaide too. When's, like, are you going to have a show before then in Sydney to launch the album? Yeah, on July 5, when the album comes out, we're playing a, a secret kind of show where if you pre-order the album, you can send your details in, uh, like the pre-order confirmation and everything, and then you get a free ticket for like you and a friend to the uh, secret show. So it'll be a small kind of show, like probably 100 people or so in Sydney somewhere. Yeah, oh, so that's that exciting. Where can people go to pre-order and to get into this show in Sydney? You can pre-order from JB Hi-Fi or Sanity or Planet of Sound, but all, all the details are on our Facebook. So if you want to pre-order, you can just go onto our Facebook and follow all the prompts from there. And you are facebook.com forward slash glass towers on Facebook? Yep. that's it, yeah. 
Well, that sounds like fun. I, I don't suppose that there's anything I can do to get you to tell me where this show's going to be then. Um, I actually don't know yet. I think our, <laughs> our management's organising it all, so I actually have no idea. So <laughs> even I don't know. <laughs> he didn't want to risk you, you spilling it in an interview. Yeah, I, think, I don't know. I think so. I have no idea. I think, I think he'll probably let me know like a day before. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that sounds exciting. So, yeah, anyone's in Sydney, get on and pre-order the album and you get a special show. Yeah, yeah. Nice, intimate one. Yeah, yeah. And the tour is pretty extensive. You are going everywhere except Tasmania and the Northern Territory. Yeah. Do you have plans to head off overseas on the back of this album? We just went overseas to uh, the UK and Japan uh, about two months ago, which was pretty fun. But um, we're tr- going to try and go to America and then back to the UK and Japan sometime in the year, this year as well, because our album's also coming out in Japan and the UK and hopefully in America as well. So probably around October or September we'll probably go overseas again. What's it like now that you do have the support of a record company? It makes life a lot easier. It's like when we first got management. <clears throat> um, before we got management, I was doing a lot of the management myself. Like I booked us shows and booked us like you know other things like accommodation and stuff. But yeah, as soon as you get like management and a record label, it just makes your life a lot easier because it, it's hard enough trying to write music and trying to perform music without you know doing all the logistics behind it. So yeah, it just makes life a lot easier. Was there like any time in your life? that you remember deciding that you wanted to do music for a living? I think when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of my dad's records, which were like Roxy Music, Ryan Ferry, uh, Neil Diamond, like rock- records that people would probably laugh at these days. But to me, those records are really special to me, like Simon and Garth Uncle, people like that. And I think that kind of just instilled from a young age a really like deep desire within me to write music and, and play music. And so... I think from a young age, I was just really into music, and it's all I really want to do. It's my passion, and it's all I can really see myself doing. <laughs> and, yeah, you play guitar as well as providing vocals. Yeah, yeah. And as you said, you're being the chief songwriter, at least on your debut album. Yeah. And you passed your EP and that in the past, too. Yeah. But do you play other instruments? I first learned the piano when I was about eight, I think, eight or nine, and then I stopped doing that because I got a bit sick of it <laughs> because it was too much like practice to really get good at it and so i started playing trumpet in primary school and so i played trumpet for a couple of years and then then i played bass uh, bass guitar for a bit then i started playing electric guitar and then i started singing so i've I've had a bit of a musical background yeah so no desire to jump on the drums i've tried i've tried drumming but i'm just not not good at it i've got no sense of rhythm like i can't (laughs) i can do simple kind of beats but it's just too confusing to me i think i think some people are really good at it and other people just don't really seem to be able to do it, which is me. So, yeah. <laughs> well, what about any other hidden talents? Do you have any other creative or artistic talents? I like writing. I, when I was growing up and when I was in high school, I really got into Jack Kerouac, the writer from America, especially his book on the road. I was really into his writing. Um, so I've, I've always been interested in writing, so I might might try my hand at writing in the future. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> I'll see where it takes me. <laughs> oh, maybe you could write a little story and base an album on it. That'd be cool, actually. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd have to fit all your film clips in and turn it into yeah. a movie one day. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Why not? If you can live your dreams, you can do anything you want, can't yeah. you? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> And so, as we said, the album is due out on the 5th of July. It is called Halcyon Days. Mm-hmm. How many tracks are on that album? Um, there's 11 tracks on the album. And how difficult was it choosing those 11? It wasn't, wasn't too hard because we don't really write a lot of music very quickly. We had these 11 songs for a long time and they didn't, they didn't really change much through the couple of years that we had them. Yeah, pretty much what's on the record is how they were written originally. So they're pretty much exactly the same as what they were when we first wrote them. You're going to be doing Adelaide on the 8th of August at the Grace Emily Hotel. Yeah. Then you're off to Bunbury on the 9th at the Prince of Wales, Perth on the 10th at the Amplifier Bar, and Fremantle on the 11th at the Newport Hotel. So you're doing a few shows over in WA. Yeah. Which is good because it's a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. Then Definitely. you're jumping back across to Sydney on the 16th at the Standard and Melbourne on the 17th at the Toff, 
Brisbane on the 21st at the Black Bear Lodge, the Gold Coast on the 22nd at the Loft, and you're finishing in your old hometown of Byron yep. Bay on the sure. 23rd. <laughs> So that's going to be your big party night, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It'll be a really big night, yeah. <laughs> Catching up with your family and friends and that. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be really great to finish that, actually. Where, where the album was originally written is really good, actually, yeah. Do you actually have a website, or is Facebook your main? Uh, it's, just, it's just Facebook, yeah. It's our main kind of website, Facebook, yeah. Right. And as we said, you're facebook.com forward slash glass towers. Yeah. And on YouTube, you're glass towers band. So yep. people can go and look you up there and watch your cool film clip. Has that gotten played on Rage or anything yet? I think it's been played on Rage a couple of times, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, we also played it on Triple J. We did a Like a Version, a live set on Triple J, which you can check out as well on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And possibly on, was ABC2 show those things? I think they might actually, yeah. Yeah, I think I think they have a show on on ABC that you can watch on as well, ABC2, yeah. Keep an eye out for it in the program yep, guide. Maybe when it's going to happen, you can Facebook about it and let us all know. Yeah, definitely. I will. Is there anything that we haven't spoken about that you would like to say while you've got a chance to be heard by people who love you? Well, if you love our music, you're going to love our record because we've spent a lot of time working on it and we're really proud of it. And we, I, I just hope you enjoy listening to it because, yeah, we put a lot of hard work into it. And, yeah, I think, I think it shows. And I think if you like our music, you'll love our record. It has been great talking to you. Good luck and have fun on the tour. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. That's all right. And I look forward to hearing the album. Yeah. And, yeah, hopefully we'll have a chat again in the future. Yeah, definitely. Okay, bye.